because I was looking over the notes um, that were put together. So if mm-hmm. you were putting – so what would be an example? Let's say – because I'm looking at things. It's, a, it's like a 24-7 operation, right. and it's, it's minus 40. Oh. Mm-hmm. So if you get that, do you then say, okay, this product, is it, is it like a branded product that you're bringing in? Or like do they know what they're – like what, what are they actually physically seeing? Um, at their site? What are you bringing to them? What we're bringing to them is <clears throat> I am the, I, I like to say I'm the liaison between the customer and the research and development lab. I understand their equipment, but also understand the chemistry that helps to make that equipment operate. And so what I bring to the, the table is the product expertise and the application expertise. And I'll, I'll give you an example is we, we have a, a situation where we have hydraulics that are using a very light oil in the winter so that they guarantee it works when it's 40 below. But then in the summer, they switch over to a heavier oil so that they can work with the plus 40 temperatures in the summer. And what I've done and uh, my colleagues that I work with is we come to the customer and said, you know, we have a synthetic multigraded product that works all season in our Produro product line that you can eliminate seasonal change outs and potentially extend the drain intervals on a hydraulic system, for example, and possibly lengthen the life of the equipment. And we help them make that change and work through it and give them that knowledge to be able to make those changes competently. What about this other thing? Again, looking through these notes, um, I, I saw that the no idle, um, and can you talk a little bit more of that? Because it seemed, it's, I didn't get a chance to look over it much, but it seemed interesting. These no, those, these no idle policies that uh, are now in place. There, there are a lot of no idle policies out there, and and I think most mines probably have them. And if they don't, they uh, have written. If they don't have a written policy, they probably have something in place that they follow. Mm-hmm. So what the a typical no idle policy will be is that. If you're not in the equipment and it's not actively doing any work, you have to shut it down to save fuel and, and reduce emissions. However, there's some some things that work against that. Um, if it's really, really cold, you have to leave the equipment running for operator comfort and safety. And conversely, when it's really, really hot, you have to allow it to run so that there's air conditioning for driver comfort and safety. Um, however, you get into some mining operations that say, uh, they don't run 24 hours a day. They run till 11 o'clock at night and they shut the piece of equipment down till seven o'clock in the morning. Whereas 30 years ago, they would just let them idle overnight yeah. because they're worried about that cold start in the morning. So in a 24 seven application, you can run with a conventional engine oil, but if you're going to shut it down for a period overnight, you may have to convert to a zero W or a five W synthetic to allow you that cold starting. So we, we take the no idle policies into consideration when we're making product recommendations against the duty cycle and the ambient conditions of where the mine's located. 